Amnesty International has criticized Kenyan authorities' refusal to let lawyer Miguna Miguna into the country to appear before the court. Uh, for more on the drama playing out in Kenya, Irungo Houghton, Executive Director Amnesty International, Kenya Chapter, joins me live via Skype from Nairobi. Good evening, Irungo. Good evening, Vincent. Yes, now, first, you, come, you came out very strongly uh, you know, to condemn the government. What's really going on here? The government is increasingly becoming defiant, disobeying court orders. What's going on in Kenya? I, mean, I think the drama that has unfolded on our television screen is really the hallmark of a Hollywood um, uh, tragic comedy. If it was not a travesty of justice, I think um, many of us would really see this as the beginnings of, uh, of another blockbuster that um, uh, would be watched on several, uh, uh, several cinemas. But what's been happening essentially is from February the 2nd, Miguna Miguna um, was arrested. He was then shuttled from police station to police station. He was then bundled out of the country against his will and despite a court order. And uh, in his absence, he received um, a court order that uh, instructed, uh, him, instructed the government to give him safe passage to return to Kenya. And that he tried to do two days ago. And, and what we've seen is essentially the police uh, stopping, arresting him at the airport, holding him in Komiankado from his lawyers and refusing, despite a court order today, that he be released to attend the court um, hearing that uh, mm -hmm. will determine his case. Now, uh, Irongo, Kenya has been priding itself with having a very strong constitution, uh, respect for the courts. Uh, what is happening at the moment when we see that the government is actually re disregarding any orders from the court? What does it signal? I think, I think there are a couple of things. One is that the constitution still remains one of the most progressive, progressive constitutions on the continent. But as uh, we probably could say, is in 2010, Kenya was in search of a constitution. I think now the constitution is in search of a country. What we've seen is a number of court orders um, uh, you know, completely violated to the point that uh, this evening um, Justice Odunga has actually issued uh, a warrant of arrest for the cabinet secretary, the head of police, uh, the head of uh, CID, and a number of other important uh, government officers for simply disregarding the court. They are now being held in contempt of court and have been instructed to appear before the court, not uh, in terms of their representatives, but actually in terms of their personal appearance. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I think we are on a dangerous path in terms of um, uh, legality. And secondly, also, I think for uh, the other side of things, which is, I think, politically, this is a costly yeah. uh, but, course of action yeah. for the government but, to continue. Yes. Talk a little bit about the harassment of journalists, in fact, assault. Well, I, I think we, as Amnesty, have been very concerned about um, the uh, shutdown of the media that took place early in the year um, when three major um, media houses attempted to cover the uh, rally that was uh, called by the NASA opposition uh, movement led by Raila Odinga. And we saw one week of um, shutdown for these three major media houses, costing millions and millions of shillings in revenue to these uh, private um, media houses. And in the last 24, 48 hours, we've seen three journalists essentially roughed up, beaten, and uh, their camera equipment uh, destroyed uh, or damaged um, in the course of their attempt to cover the spectacle at the airport. Really sad, Irongo. We do appreciate your perspective. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you very much. Uh, that uh, was Irongo Hilton, uh, the executive director of Amnesty International in Kenya, speaking to us uh, from Nairobi via Skype.